What's up everybody? Thank you all for checking out this video. For you, those who don't know who I am, I am Josh with Nifty and Thrifty Storage Finds. So I'm giving you all a quick tour of my warehouse slash garage. As of right now, as you all can see, I do have storage shelving all the way down through here, but that is about to change. All of these shelving that goes along the walls all the way down through here are getting removed. Not just along the back wall, but this wall as well. And I need to find something to do with all of this merchandise here. Most of this stuff has already been gone through. It just needs to be listed, sorted, and stored. And same thing with this stuff here, except for that tote of wire. Um, this stuff here is also from another storage unit, and some of this is also um, some personal stuff. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to take, like I just said, all of these these uh, storage racks here, there's only three, and they're going to line this whole entire wall and all the way down through there as well. And these metal racks actually came out of a movie store. Uh, they set long ways and they had DVDs and CD, uh, excuse me, DVDs and movies on them. So these are getting cleared out. These are getting lined up. Um, that back wall and this wall. And this area over here. Most of this stuff is getting donated to a, a nearby church that takes donations. They have a, cloth, a clothes closet, a clothing closet. And they give clothes to uh, the needy people for free. So all of this is getting cleared out. I'm working on seeing what is good enough to donate and what needs to be thrown away. The stuff that's already in the totes, I'm don I'm donating. Um, the walls, this is this is paint. It's not mud or anything else. The walls are getting painted comp uh, with a new fresh coat of paint, and. Probably going to lay down some laminate flooring in here and put in a stove over here. But today I'm actually going to move these three racks over here. I'm going to put one there. Uh, that's the little air conditioner, so I don't really want one in front of it. So this little space is going to be empty. I might actually leave this rack right here because it does have shoes and lots of them um this one here is completely full and i'll take you all over here and show you this one as well i'll move some of these boxes out of the way but which is already it's fully zipped up let me see if i can do this with one hand Actually, I'm not going to, but this is actually completely full of shoes as well. It's just like that one over there. So let's see if we can move some of these boxes back. <clears throat> not only am I moving these over here, but it will also free up more light because as of right now, that's the only light I have in here. This is wired up for a light. I just don't have it yet. This one over here. I think the balluses are bad in it uh, because they don't work. I did buy new bulbs, but they are, they just don't light up. So moving these will definitely give me more light right here. And plus I do have natural sunlight. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna have to un unload all these shelves, unload three of these move these over here and the next time you see this space it will look completely different so let's take one final look at the way it looks now all right so when it next time you see me it will be completely different hey guys welcome back to the channel it has been a full nine days since i updated last and I want to show you all just a little something that I got just a few minutes ago that is really, or has really given me motivation. 
that is a 330 gallon propane tank um, they just set it up and while they were setting it up I did get another delivery so let's walk inside and see what it is now things do look a little different inside um, as you can see there's a lot more stuff in here because I am completely remodeling everything uh, there used to be another rack right here which now has a mini fridge it doesn't really have too much in it right now um, I just have my Mountain Dew that's it but and I had Hot Wheels um, this whole wall was Hot Wheels I had stuff along this wall and that wall you can probably still see the thumbtacks all of that got taken down I'm remodeling um, so let's take a look at what else I got today while the propane was being brought in. These are the storage racks that you see along those back walls. There's one, there's one, there's one. So I got, let's see, I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all eight did show up. And as you can tell, it looks a little different in here. I'm in the process right now of taking down um, these metal racks, taking all the inventory off, and then I'm going to put these along this, I'm going to put three more right here, one, two, three, and then five along that wall to get up all this stuff in the floor. So let's just walk around this side as well. I haven't seen this side of the wall. In like six months so this is pretty different now, as you we can see in the back this old bookshelf I guarantee you I can take like one finger and push that over because it's falling apart this one isn't falling apart yet but it's getting there I can see that the boards are starting to bow just a little bit so have a very busy day ahead and I tell you what I am wearing a short sleeve t-shirt and I have never done this except for last summer. Aside from that, I've had to wear long sleeve shirts and jackets while I'm in here. So we did get the heater going. You may be able to hear it. Um, I have it set on 66 right now, which is phenomenal. Um, I did get some packing peanuts in. I'm going to do a little trial run with these to see how they do. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier or not, but the three storage racks that were right here, I couldn't wait any longer, so I moved those along the back wall. So there's one. This one here is just full of shoes. Let's see if I can get you all a better view. Even way up top, all the way down, is just shoes. And there's actually another one right over here. Um, I have it zipped up, but it's because it's full of boots, like Harley Davidson boots, Justin's, uh, Tommy Llama, some very nice high-end boots. So, and the reason why that one's not zipped up is the zipper actually broke. <clears throat> so, I did that shelf. I got this one together. And I got that one put together. So I'm going to eat some lunch and start working on getting these assembled, which take a very long time. Oh, and not to mention the curtains that were here, um, or blankets, I should say. I took down because I was trying to keep this little heater, this little space heater, heated in that little room, which it did not work, just to be honest with you. <clears throat> So, I still have one, two, three, four, five more shelves or five more racks to take down. And for the time being, they're just leaned up right here. And that's pretty much just to get um, them out of the way so I can get shelving put in. But hopefully, this evening or maybe tomorrow, because today's Thursday, all of this stuff will be gone. Um, the next video will be very different I guarantee it hopefully my goal is after I get these together and lined up against the walls all of this stuff will get put on shelving including everything on this table 
except for the ship chips. Um, I'll eat those here in just a minute. I plan on getting rid of these <clears throat> uh, little tables too. <clears throat> Excuse me. These were given to me. Um, and they came in handy for the time being, but now I have shelving, so I don't need those anymore. Look how cool this Billy beer is. I picked this up yesterday at an estate sale for $1. It's been open. It's it's almost empty, or it is empty. Pretty neat. Anyways, that's another video. I'll show you guys stuff in another video. But this video is just about getting remodeled, reorganized, and... Before you know it, this will look totally different. So take one last look around. I'm still working on that room. That's the least of my worries right now. But this room will be very different in just a second. Hey guys, welcome back. It is now Tuesday at about noon. We have had, or I have had such a hard time getting everything done. Um, I ended up getting sick with bronchitis and my son was sick. I took a few days off and went to Myrtle Beach, but I do have the garage done. Now, if we do recall, in the middle of the garage, there was a bunch of totes and bags and trash. And um, on the far side was all kinds of totes. I just cleaned out a storage unit. So here is what I've done so far. It's about 98% done. But let's go ahead and show you all exactly what I've got done so far. A very nice, clean, open garage. This took me so long to get done. And for those who may just have jumped forward to see this part, go back to the beginning and you can see exactly what kind of mess I was dealing with. Um, this box and um, that paper is trash. Eventually, I'm going to find somewhere to put these boxes. They're a little bigger. Um, I actually want to clean up this little area here and this area here. Um, I want to get rid of these tables or this, that furniture, that glass top. I have no use for it. <clears throat> um, and eventually I want to find somewhere to put all of the paintings too and pictures because I want to get all of this cleaned up and out of my way. But really that's the only big thing. Um, this was very sturdy when I first got it. I'm not sure if you all can tell, but these are starting to bowl a little bit. So I'll probably just get rid of this little baker's rack as well. You have to overlook my voice. I'm slowly getting it back. Um, I had bronchitis for three weeks. And when I took my son to the emergency room, um, I saw the doctor as well, and they switched my medicine. And the turnaround in two days has been amazing. So my voice is slowly starting to come back. These are the racks. If you all remember at the beginning of the video that used to line um, that whole back, that side wall and all the back wall as well. But that's what these are. Um, those are the storage shelving for the racks. Those shoes and those boxes honestly was a bad buy. Let's see if I can get in here to show you. Uh, these are called To The Nines. Um, dashy d-a-s-h-y these are golf shoes a matter of fact here let me just show you a pair um i bought these in ohio like two years ago if i can get this one open um they are brand new they still have the little paper inside um very decent shoe they're golf shoes like i said it's just an old stock it's new old stock um I think I paid a couple bucks a piece for these. And in two years, I've sold two pair. That's it. These boxes back here, and um, there's four, four boxes in each stack, so there's eight boxes. Little figurines, um, Halloween figurines. <clears throat> I have them listed right now on eBay for a $1.99 and no interest at all whatsoever so if you or somebody you know would want any of this stuff please let me know um, i do have several different sizes of the shoes i'd make you one heck of a deal or if you just wanted to buy one pair that's fine i just want this stuff gone 
and actually really I want the shelving and the racks going as well but these are not in my way right yet um, so I'll, I'll hold on to these until I get what I want um, I have these up on Facebook marketplace right now <clears throat> and I have them listed that they go together because I don't want to keep just those little racks or being the shelving and get rid of the racks because otherwise I'll be stuck with those forever um, a lot of people have made offers on just these um, honestly one was kind of hard to turn down but I don't want to be stuck with the shelving um, I'm getting rid of this <clears throat> everything in that tote I'm sorry on that rack this rack and this rack here all of this stuff is listed every bit of it <clears throat> uh, this is just my little catch-all um, rack just little whatnots I need to do something with this closet it's not very big if I had to guess it's probably four foot wide and seven foot tall it's not very big and probably another four feet deep Right now, <clears throat> I'm just keeping boxes and stuff, which I, I kind of like that. It keeps it separated. Got some mannequins um, that I don't need. Uh, I'm keeping this one right here. I had used this one uh, for pants and stuff. But my goodness, it took so long to get those on. And it's just time is money. And that's not needed. And I only paid $5 for that in a store that was closing. The very top is just um, stuff I have found in storage units. I probably need to either try and sell or put it in a yard sale. Um, the bottom, I'm not sure if y'all can see that. This is a grandfather clock in this box. That's brand new. So, and there's a step ladder. This is a light that's going to go right there. I did buy it. It's right there. Um, like I said, all that stuff is listed, but check out this space. Is that not much more better than than before? I know I have stuff piled up right here, and as of right now, I have nowhere to put it. There's nothing I can do with it. Um, I'm out of space. So I've got four totes, one, two, three, and then one on the bottom is four. So there's four, eight totes of stuff. <laughs> Some golf clubs, packing peanuts, which are mine. This is a bag of dirty clothing that I have found in storage units or bought at different thrift stores that I need to take to the laundromat and wash because I don't sell dirty or smelly clothes. And that's my son's car seat I took out today because I had to take some stuff to the post office. But this stack of totes, if it has a lid, I'll probably keep it. Otherwise, I'll probably just throw them away. I have no use for them because they're too tall for the shelving, which was a bummer. That's a home theater system I picked up at Goodwill. At, I mean, I'm sorry, at a Goodwill outlet <clears throat> for like $8. <clears throat> it is complete and it works, but honestly, it's not worth a lot of money. Uh, this tote is scuba gear. I picked up at Goodwill for $10 like a year or two ago. I need to list that because warm weather is just around the corner. And this tote right here is just a catch-all of what was left that I had nowhere to put. So I need to do something with all this as well. And I went to an, an estate sale and picked up a bunch of old stuff as well. Some of this stuff on top is Amazon. I'm, I'm straying away from what I want to show you all. I'll, I'll come back and do another video of everything I have, stuff like that. There's 11 racks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But this is my lawnmower. I keep it in the garage because I do have to mow this property, <clears throat> obviously. Um, it was right here. Just, uh, when I got this place. I put it right here. So originally it was just this. 
and that was it. This not, all this was just open space. <clears throat> this is my death pile of clothes that I need to list on eBay, except for this bag. It's some of my son's old clothes. Somebody can have that for free. I don't care. But yeah, that's my death pile of clothes. I'm trying to work on this week. So to show you exactly what all I've done, a real quick view of everything that I have. What I, before I do that though, there's a window. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. It's right here. I don't like the fact that these, these towers and that green toad is covering that window because it's natural sunlight. And there's also another one right here that's being blocked and one right here. So I may do some more rearranging to get <clears throat> these down and maybe move this stuff up. Just a thought. I'm not sure if, I, if that's what I'll do or not. But no real rhyme or rhythm on, on how I stored stuff. I kind of just started putting stuff on shelving. But I'm giving you a very quick tour of everything that I have. <clears throat> and in other videos I'll put out here soon, I'll go through one shelf at a time. I'm sorry, one rack at a time and just kind of go over exactly what everything is. This shelf, I just tried to make mainly stuff that's in boxes. Um, I need to do something with these books as well. I had talked with a friend of mine and I wasn't really sure on if I wanted to keep the books or throw them away. But if you all can tell, they're taking up a lot of room. I'd even thought about taking one of those old racks and putting between the two garage doors and putting the listed books on the racks so that would free up more space over here. And there's just not enough room right here to put one, which is fine. But anyways, this stuff here, um, it's full of inventory I, I need to list. As you all can tell, this is just is chinaware, glassware, mugs. I kind of have a thing for that. I'm, I'm really starting to get into it. Um, a lot of this stuff here, like the 7-Up, the Mountain Dew, the Coca-Cola, uh, the Jack Daniels, that's my personal stuff I'm going to keep. Um, there's a story behind this one from an experience that I had. <clears throat> I'll let you all use your imagination with that. Oh, and by the way, that was not recent. I'm 33. I've had this since I was 21. So go put two and two together. But just more random stuff. Um, this stuff here is my son's stuff um, from when he was younger. I, I don't really want to part ways with it, so I may put this stuff in a tote and take the tote home. But this stuff is sentimental. It's not going to go anywhere. And like I said, everything on this shelf is listed for sale right now on eBay. Except for that tote of dolls. But everything else is. Uh, the Barbie pink and pretty house, it's for sale. I actually just lowered the price. None of this stuff is listed yet. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it is listed. This McDonald's house is not listed. Well, like I said, in, in more videos, I will bring more stuff out and show you what I have, where it is, what I've done with it. But all of these black totes, that's all clothing right now that's on eBay. And then I kind of cleaned up this area as well. Um, this stuff is just, it's autographed pictures. This is more autographs. And there's one more right back there underneath that glove that's autographs. And a huge, huge thing that I did was I went from this little propane tank that was heating just um, the eBay room to having this hooked up last week. So I've technically managed to go all winter with very, very little heat. Um, like I said, I'm not at 100% yet. As I organize more in here, hopefully I can find more places to put these totes and maybe just throw these away. But mainly it's just these two stacks of totes right here. And then clothing, packing peanuts, a heater that I probably will never use ever again. And this little 
<clears throat> shoe cabinet right here is it's full of uh, boots and this room here I did a little bit of cleaning not very much um, this is where I actually take the pictures for eBay and it looks like there's a line going across hope that's not showing up in the video but right here is where I actually do the videos I'm sorry the pictures for eBay uh, this is just white poster board I'll get into, into that another video but I set stuff here I take the pictures um, most of this stuff is stuff that was put up in an auction last week and just needs to be shipped out. Um, not on eBay. I actually used auction zip to hold auctions, but the military bag, the pictures, um, <clears throat> this bottom tote here, or crate is full of old coins. Um, this is a taxidermy raccoon. These are mink furs that sold. All of this stuff here sold as well. <clears throat> I had some issues with WePay, which I've never used. And unless I really have to, I will never use WePay ever again. But all of this stuff has sold every bit of it, except for this. These are just uh, little shipping bags for eBay. I thought about holding on to this. That's a super treasure hunt. If you know anything about super treasure hunts. Um, <clears throat> just a little catch-all of personal items. You have tape guns, priority stickers. And I did the one chip challenge. It was hell. Like literally hell. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not cussing when I say that. Um, the Transformer honestly did not sell in the auction. I'm very surprised. Um, a lot of this did not sell. That did sell. I need to box that up as well. But right here is where I do a lot of, where I spend a lot of time, is right here in front of this computer. I'm trying to look to make sure there's no personal information laying around. But yeah, <clears throat> and I have the shipping weights. Like if something weighs uh, 0.35, how many ounces is it? A little cheat sheet. Again, that's for another video. But, yep, yeah, spent a lot of time in here. Uh, a lot of people knew that this whole wall was full of uh, Hot Wheels. They all sold. I even sold this picture from, I forgot which, World War II, I think. But, this is where I do my business. And this is the after of, like, a week and a half of cleaning and organizing and moving around. So, there'll be more videos to come of what exactly I have, how I do things. Um, I will be buying storage units. Really, guys, that's the whole reason for doing this. Hope you all have had a wonderful time watching this video. Please comment and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.